Facebook as well, but I'm here at the Orange County Board of Supervisors. They're doing uh, some sort of meeting today where the public can speak. Hopefully I can as well. And they're talking about um, basically implementing a vaccination passport with a different name. They're not really calling it that, but they're trying to do it where when you go to Disney, when you go to certain things, you know, basically have people on that situation. You guys know the passports that they're rolling out. They're trying to do it in Orange County and it's a mostly, you know, historically conservative area. A lot of people are not having it. You see the crowd is pretty solid and there's over a hundred people who are going to speak to the board of supervisors. So this is what it's about folks, you know, on a local level, of course there's national, you could vote, whatever, but you know, it's nice when you get the community together and people speak directly to the people who are doing this on a, on a local and county level. And I want to say real quick, I'm getting away from the crowd so I can have some sound. Um, my Facebook got demonetized yesterday, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who supports however you do, buying hat, Patreon and stuff. And I'm not trying to just plug it, I'm telling you. The reason I do that, I don't even talk about Patreon when things are going well, but you know, uh, they took away all my Facebook monetization, or at least my live stream. I don't know what they're doing, they're restricting my page. And the reason is, it, it fits into what's going on here. I did a video that was factually true, completely factual. I, I fact-checked the left and the right. And I talked about Jen Psaki, who's Biden's press secretary, who said that these vaccines were FDA approved. This is a lie, and I called her a liar, and I fact-checked her, and I showed FDA proof. I don't make up the rules. I don't run the FDA. I don't run the FDA approval or the emergency use authorization. That's not what I do. I report the facts, and the facts are Jen Psaki lied and told the world and told the public and told your family that they're FDA approved and they're not. They're emergency use authorization. And today, this morning, after they demonetized my Facebook page, uh, you know, CNN reports and everybody's reporting that the FDA and the CDC have now pulled, you know, they've halted the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And that Johnson & Johnson vaccine, regardless of what people want to believe, because people like Jen Psaki are lying to their face, that was never approved. It still hasn't been approved. It was emergency use authorization and they're halting it because they're finding problems with it or they at least want to be safer than they're already being. And I don't consider these agencies, uh, I don't think they have that high of standards anyway, but clearly high enough to pull the Johnson & Johnson one. So I'm so, I, I, I'm, I'm very passionate today for multiple reasons. One, uh, I don't want to live in a county. I love Orange County. I love California. This is one of the best areas of California and they're trying to push a vaccine health passport onto people under a different name. So I'm going to be out here with my people. And another thing, uh, is, you know, my, my livelihood, I'm, I'm fine. I, you know, I, I'm, I have savings, I make money, I'll figure it out, but they keep trying to destroy me, not because I'm wrong, not because I made a mistake, but because I told the truth, because I tell the truth, because Jen Psaki lied about FDA approval, I showed the truth, and they hate me because I showed the truth. So I will never stop doing it. I don't care how much they take from me. I don't care if they take away my page, my, uh, my money, my house. I don't, I mean, they're not gonna take that much, but I don't really care, because I'll never be a liar. I'll never cower to them. And I'm gonna look into legal options of what to do with Facebook, because I don't know how they're able to get away with this. They're censoring my page and restricting my page and taking away my monetization, not because I made a mistake about the vaccines, because I told people the truth about them. And the truth is, they are not FDA approved. These new Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson ones, they are emergency use authorized. Uh, Dr. Fauci's trying to semi-lie about it. Jen Psaki totally lied about it. I fact-checked her, and they don't like the fact that I told the truth against their lies. They don't care about science. They don't care about the truth. They don't care about the data. They don't care about misinformation. Facebook, I, I believe it's it's a total, I mean, I'm not gonna say the word, but what they're doing is, is crazy. They don't care about anything besides covering up, censoring, silencing, and pushing an agenda, their medical tyranny agenda, their socialist, communist, Marxist, whatever you wanna call it agenda, their total control agenda where they destroy all competition and make you live in a society that's completely void of the First Amendment of the Constitution where you don't have a right, not a right to, to lie, a right to tell the truth. They lied, I told the truth, they took my money away, they restricted my page, and Jen Psaki gets uh, rewarded for being a fraud. So that's what it is, folks. Uh, I'm gonna go into the crowd a little bit. We got a lot of love here, a lot of good people, and you know, it's just ridiculous that they're trying to do this to Orange County. And I will say this, you know, there's a lot of legends out here. We got Peggy Hall. You know, uh, Peggy Hall has a website where she really educates people. If you want to learn your rights and learn what you can do, 
I think Peggy Hall is one of the best people in the world or in the in the country who's doing that. We have Leah Dundas, who's very very fiery human rights attorney. Uh, you know, she's been going viral, just going really hard, passionate about how she feels about the forced vaccination on children. They're trying to in Orange County as well. Uh, you know not only give it to kids but they're trying to give it to kids without their parents approval so leah dundas went viral for that so you know you can say what you want about california but we got some of the biggest freedom fighters out here you know they're out here uh, uh doing what they can and that's what we all got to do is uh you know just stand up for yourself it doesn't you know everybody doesn't have to protest or talk to the board of county but i mean how are how are we going to let them just do this to us how are we going to let them restrict us and make us live in this 1984 slave world where the more you comply the more they take and before i go into the crowd i'm just going to say this everybody thinks that you comply and you get it back 15 days mask it's actually the opposite the more you comply the more they take it's like bending down to them and once you're on your knees you're there permanently so it's a false premise that the democrats and the republicans to be quite frank are pushing that if you just power to them and listen to them and you get the jabs you know now you're going to go back to normal it's never going to be this way and i will never get it i don't want it if you want it knock yourself out and i will never submit to a vaccine passport i will do whatever i can not just in this county but in this country i will not get it not to travel not to go anywhere i'll i'll make my own food i'll do what i have to do but i i, I refuse and the sickest part about this is you shouldn't even be able to force somebody to get any sort of thing. I, I use this as an example and I think it really hits home. I like almonds, okay? I love almonds, I like cashews, I like peanuts. I, I had to say it or else it would sound like something else and people would make fun of me, but in general, you know, I like cashews. Some people are allergic to almonds. You can't force the entire country to take an almond and threaten them from not going into stores because they don't eat almonds because most people can handle it, but some people are gonna have an allergic reaction. Some people would break out, some people would get hurt, some people would die. It's, it's the same exact logic. Most people will probably be fine, but there are side effects, there are illnesses, there is death, they know this, and that's why the companies who make these products have total immunity and liability. And a lot of people don't understand this in both parties. If you, you know, watch a pill commercial, they tell you everything that happens. They have to tell you legally, or else they're gonna get sued. But the vaccine manufacturer struck a deal with the government and they have no liability, so they don't care what happens. They know that it happens, that's why they have the liability. They just don't have to deal with it. So the media, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and, and, and the mainstream media is covering it all up. This should, in my opinion, be criminal. You have something where you're forcing everybody to do it. It's not FDA approved. It's emergency youth authorized. And now you're pulling one of them off the markets because you know it was never approved in the first place and you're being cautious as you're trying to guilt and force people to take it, as you're taking away my money and trying to restrict and, and, and delete my videos for accurately pointing out Jen Psaki lying to the public. The blood is on your hands, you sicko freaks, demons, that you think you could just do this to people, lie to them, delete the truth, cover up the actual facts they don't want you to know the facts because if you know the facts you won't listen to them they want you to be stupid dumbed down on every pill possible and they want you to get the jab but my question is let people get it if they want but tell them the truth how are you gonna censor me telling the truth and you broadcast Jen Psaki lying about it as it's not FDA approved she says it's FDA approved and you're pulling one of the three emergency youth authorized vaccines off the market. That's in the that's in the news today. The Johnson and Johnson one. It's not my opinion. It's CNN mainstream news. FDA and CDC are are halting use of the Johnson and Johnson vaccine that they're trying to force you to get. That's not FDA approved. That the companies have no liability for. Those are the facts. That's what they don't want you to know. I don't really give a shit. F you, you little losers at Facebook working for the establishment, always censoring, always silencing. I'll find a way, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not submitting to this. Let's see what we got going on over here. I gotta listen because I might be going inside soon. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to go inside and speak. Hold on, let's see. I'm gonna keep my ears peeled, guys, because I might go inside. Good job. 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 Good job.
Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. Getting a little live stream. Oh. Yeah, of course. Uh, are they are they announcing are they announcing names? Yeah. Did they if they say anomaly, let me know. They didn't say it. I would have heard. Okay. Let, can you let me? Know? All right. I'm live streaming. Yeah. I can. Do you want to take a picture? Or say hi. Uh, she did. No, my friend. She wants to talk to me. On the live stream. Oh, not on the live stream. Okay. Uh, we'll do it. Yeah, yeah, you can. Can I, can I get the thing? Yeah. Yeah. So, so this was supposed to say, oh, it's, it's backwards, but it says, enjoying, the, enjoying your communism, wake up. With yours, and then you can. I'm going to go try to find uh, Peg. Do you know where Peggy Hall is? I'm sure people are running I up to her. I think she but... went inside. Oh, she, she's yeah, talking? Yeah, she's probably talking. She comes out that way. Okay. Here it is, yeah. Okay, thank you. Just, yeah, send her. All right, I'm gonna run. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got you. So. Hold on, I'm taking some. Got my... Oh wait, wait, honey, will you? All right, I gotta get back to my. You got it. Where's that sign at? All right, I'll get it. in the middle. All right, I'll, I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back off stream in a second. Thank you. All right, so. I'm probably gonna, I, I have to go inside in a little bit because I'm speaking. Um, let me let me actually find my, my, my man, Tony, who runs a, let me see. Hold on a second. I want to get my man on here real quick because he's a legend. Hey, Tony. Hold on. Tony, I'm doing a live stream. Do you want to do you want to come say a piece with me? Yeah. I want I want to talk about. Good to see you, man. Yeah, this is this is T Tony right here. He's the uh, owner of Basilico's, one of my favorite restaurants. We'll, we'll just go outside the crowd, but he runs a restaurant and he's got a crazy good story. And I feel like every time I see him, one of my favorite people to talk Thank to in you, general. Man. Yeah, you already know. So, but uh. He never closed down for a single day, which is insane because a lot of people were 15 days to sell this bread. Yeah, tell me about that because I, lo I love hearing about it. Yeah, so we, we didn't shut down for 15 seconds. Uh, mm. For us, uh, we saw uh, the lockdown as a blessing to expose the enemies of freedom and, and fight them. And so for us, uh, we didn't think about our business or uh, paying our bills or paying our rent or losing anything. We were, we were willing to risk everything, lay everything on the line and dedicate our business as a constitutional battleground. And we've gone to war with these people and we have stonewalled everyone. We, we uh, banned masks. We, we, we've been very, very provocative in our, in our fight. We've taunted uh, who I call Gavin Pelosi, the tiny tyrant in Sacramento. We taunt him constantly. We put a billboard in LA, in the heart of LA, where all, all the hate was coming from and all, all the threats, including death threats, threats to spread the virus in the restaurant, threats to burn our restaurant down, threats to kill me. Uh, we, we put a billboard up to smack him back up, upside the head that said, leave the mask, take the cannoli, a take on the line from the from the, the famous movie, The Godfather. Um, so so for us, it's an all or, all or nothing fight. So when I see people trying to fight now, suddenly beating their, their chest, it's been a year of damage and destruction. And uh, when I see that happen, it's like, it's like stepping into a ring when the fight's already over. You've been knocked out and you're swinging at an opponent that's not even there anymore. The fight has to happen in round one. That's when the impact is felt. So if they ever try to, to press that, that, that shutdown button again, step in the ring immediately and don't give an inch. Don't give an inch to the enemies of freedom ever. And when you punch them, punch them hard with your actions. Uh, they only understand strength. And, uh, you, you know, for us, like I said, it's an all or nothing fight, no compromise ever. We're surrendering to nothing. We're going to make them surrender to us. Yeah, and uh, I know, you know, people, I'm sure business owners hit you up and say like, well, Tony, I'm scared. I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose that. Are you getting fined? And, you know, what's your message to them and what have you done? My message to them is, is when you feel f fear and you comply, you are causing damage to your self-respect. Your subjugation is, is, is going to dishonor uh, the founders of our country. Um, it's going to dishonor all those men and women who have fought for 20, 44 years to, to defend our freedoms. Um, honor them and fight. And when, you, and when you feel fear of losing a license or getting fined or even getting arrested, 
Uh, think of the men and women around the world right now who are facing real bullets and bombs. Um, find the love for your country deep in your heart, and when you find that, um, and, and if it burns hard enough, if it burns hot enough, you will find the courage to stand up and fight. I love that. Like when you talk to Tony, it's not even like, oh, it's for my business. I need the money. It's like I don't. He doesn't. It's not in his DNA. It's not in his yeah, DNA. It's, yeah. it's not in your Sometimes DNA I forget to back to even down. Sometimes I mention the name. I love when I talk to you too, because a lot of times politically, obviously, more conservative people agree with us. It's just, and the, the liberals just don't seem to care about freedom at all. But it seems like sometimes when I talk about rejecting the tyranny, they get more upset that I'm mentioning it if their guy's in on it, where I know you're like, you know, you didn't shut down for 15 days at all. And do you find like, say like even DeSantis and Abbott where they're leading the charge, but they're still kind of, you know, in a sense playing along. And I feel like not a lot of people get that, but you're a pretty hardline stance on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a hardline stance. I take a hardline stance. So for, for me, I feel that we're in this place because of this, the standards that we have for the candidates that run and supporting them. Our standards are low. I hear people praising governors in conservative states like Mississippi, Texas, even Florida for piecemealing, handing back their freedoms. Um, you know, it's like they have Stockholm syndrome and it drives me nuts. Uh, these people are pretending like they're suddenly heroes when they're actually traitors. And for me, uh, 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 people like even DeSantis who shut down for I don't know how many months and enforced restrictions at, 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 at one time and um, these people can never be trusted again to run any office in this country, ever. We need to raise our, st our standards and find candidates that can demonstrate that they will only govern uh, uh, based on the Constitution. And, that's it. and, and, and you got to remember, these are our God-given rights only protected by the U.S. Constitution. Yeah, I feel like we've turned into a doormat. Even on the right, we're supposed to be tougher. But like, it's like people love being mistreated where if you allow it, they keep doing it. Where instead of saying no, and I'm saying no, people are more mad that I'm saying no. But I'm like, I, I can't be disrespected like this. And yeah. it's like, they're going to keep doing it because they move the bar from like, now we're praising them for shutting down for a year, mask mandates and pushing out mass vaccinations as they're like weighing like, oh, maybe you can go here now. Like, to me, that's crazy. That's exactly right. If, if, it's, their, if it's their hero that's in, in charge, then it's okay. Then, then the tyranny is okay. Listen. The shutdown happened under Trump. Sorry, and you know what? He he praised wearing masks. He 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 said it was patriotic. Um, he allowed Portland and Seattle to burn for months. Um, it's time to take the Trump flags down and fly American flags. We're Americans, okay? Um, so you know, until we finally admit to what's really going on, we're never going to win anything. I want to ask one question if you want to answer. Some people are saying like, what happened, like police-wise or fines-wise? I think people are wondering like. Yeah. So, like so we have, you know, we, we, like I said, I get death threats. Uh, we get threats um, from from the ABC, which is the Alcohol uh, Beverage Control Board, located in Santa Ana, where we're at now. Um, they they are threatened to revoke our very valuable and hard-earned uh, uh, beer and wine and hard liquor license that we have. And they're threatening everybody with it. But you know what? Like I said, you, you you can't worry about that. The enemies of freedom need to understand they're in for a fight when they see somebody who's not afraid to lose everything in the fight. Uh, we had OSHA come down with search warrant and the police. We stonewalled them too. They didn't get in. We will never let the, the, the footprints of the enemies of freedom inside our, our business ever. And the business, it, whether it's a restaurant or, or not, it could be a plot of dirt with, dirt with a door on it. It doesn't matter. You have to fight. That's it. I love when you say like, the people that are opening up now, they've already sold out or they've already they've been knocked out. They've been knocked out already. Uh, the opponent has hit you and they ran. The damage has, has been, been done. And they know the next time they, they think the next time when they come back and try to and try to attack you again, that you're going to roll over again. So all I can say, it's probably too late to really take a hard stand now. You, you can try, but I mean, you know, stuff's opening up anyways. And they're acting like when they allow you to open up that they're doing you a favor. So if they try it again, uh, it's, it's very simple. Go to Make Restaurants Great Again. It's a website that I started that challenges businesses everywhere to do exact, take the hard line stand that we have. And um, so far, we still have zero on the list that have that have done the things that we were asking them to do. Because so, everybody's afraid you? to do this and that and this. And even now the places are opening, all the waitresses have masks on. First of all, I can't hear them. Second of all, it's dehumanizing. Yep. Third of all, I feel bad for them when I'm there. It's a whole different dynamic. Like when I went to South Dakota or Tony's is really the only place I think around that no, like the, the waiter, it's like a real environment with humans breathing and It's vintage and America, that's, a, that's what I call it. When you walk <laughs> into our place, it's vintage America. How sad is that after only a year? It's called vintage America, but that's, that's what it is. That's how we, we kept it. I remember there was one day I walked in and one of the young guys working there put a bottle of hand sanitizer on a table and I, and I saw it, I said, what the hell is this? 
And he said, oh, Tony, we were scared. We thought maybe it'd be a good idea. I picked that thing up, chucked it out, out the door. <laughs> and, uh, you know, across the street, I think I threw it so hard. But, um, you know, the bottom line is if you've complied and, and, and especially willingly and, and excitedly complied, you are an accomplice to the destruction that you've seen in this country. You are guilty. So it's time to turn around, redeem yourself, open now, open fully, open boldly. Mm. And take no prisoners. That's it. Amen. Tony, Thanks, Tony buddy. Roman from Basilicos. You, Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah, see you. I'll see you soon. One of the best people in the county, man. He's running. How you doing? Luka Doncic running What's that? Dude, I was just showing my friend Luca the other day. I was like, he's just balling up threes. That's it. Yeah. So, yeah, Tony, Tony runs Basilicos. Um, didn't shut down for one day. No masks. Um, great food. Great energy. And a real freedom fighter. And, I, you know, he, he's one of the people that finally made me feel like, like obviously, I like my live streams and, and, and I love you guys. But, like, in person when I'm having a chat with him and I'm talking about the situation with Trump and DeSantis where I'm like, you know, I appreciate what they did, but honestly.